Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to Playa de Carmen. We've made it, we're gonna be here 10 days now, um, and then up to Cancun. One thing I must say is welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, it's lovely to see you, um, and thank you very much for subscribing. You could do with some more. Tell your friends. And for those of you that have recently subscribed, um, my name's Ivan, Ivan O'Connor, I'm English and I've been traveling for just over three and a half years now, traveling around the world. Um, I am on a very, very small budget, um, very small. It's probably around about the oh, 25 English pounds mark. Um, so what's that, 30 dollars, 30 US dollars or so? I don't know, I'll have to work that out. I've just worked it out, it's 32 dollars, or 32.64 at the moment, as of today, um, in dollars. So that gives you an idea of my budget for every day and that includes accommodation, cigarettes, drink, food and entertainment. Although I don't actually pay for any entertainment as such. I don't go on um, tours and, and so on and so forth because I just can't afford to do it. I did get the occasional message asking how I can afford to travel for so long. How I can do it is that I've sold everything that I own um, in the UK. I sold my house, sold my cars, um, the lot. So I don't own any possessions at all except what I carry around with me. So I actually live off of the, obviously the, the, the capital that, that I gained from that. So my income is me dipping in every day to my capital. That's not really sustainable, I know, but that's just how it goes, really. You can't take it with you, can you? I tend to travel differently to, to most people in, in so much that when they travel, they go on vacation or holidays. So they're away for a week or two weeks. Um, they go somewhere, spend lots of money, and then go home and go back to work. Um, so hence my budget is is so small. I've, I've actually been to 19 different countries I think I've taken just under 50 flights um, and I've crossed, crossed the equator eight times, I think, in, in that, that time. The places I've been to, and I've got a list there, is obviously England, Denmark, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia, Singapore, Philippines, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Japan, Taiwan, Malaysia, Borneo, USA, Canada, and Mexico. I haven't travelled, as far as I'm concerned, extensively across the world. I've, I've been kind of one way and been east and then come back and, and gone west. I haven't actually circumnavigated the world yet. Maybe I will one day. Also, I do like to do, when, when I go to a, a country that I can stay in for a long time, um, hence Canada um, Australia and also coming up um, America, USA, is that I like to buy a vehicle of which I use whilst I'm in, in the, the country and then sell it at the end of my, my time there. I did that in Australia um, and drove nearly 12,000 kilometres um, like from the west coast right round to the, the east coast. Um, and in Canada, I didn't drive all the way from east to west, but I started in, in Ontario and drove to Vancouver. Now coming up in future videos is me returning with my daughter, because I've got my daughter with me, Kira. We're going back to Vancouver to pick the van up, pick the camper van up, get it back on the road, and then road trip in the USA for three months. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm in Canada. You probably already know that anyway.